Hey everyone and welcome to another episode of I Spy. It's been a really long time since I've done one of these. Definitely very sorry about that. The spy vaults in the Kuva Fortress, honestly, they look intimidating. There's lots of enemies in the vaults, you've got sensor regulators and indestructible cameras. However, once you've got them learnt, they're not that difficult at all. So I'm here to show you what I found to not only be the quickest, but the most consistent routes too. One thing that most people mention in these videos is about just kill the enemies in the vault. The reason I don't do this is because on a sortie, for the most part, you can't, you know, just kill them. Especially sortie sensor regulators, those things are so tanky, you will never one-shot them. So avoiding them really is the only option, which is why these videos are all about avoidance and true stealth. So with that said, let's move on to the vaults. Okay, we're at the first of the, uh, the, first of the vaults. This one actually is uh, one that you can have two ways of going. Uh, sometimes that will be open. Uh, most often, well, every single time this to the right will be open. On a stealth frame, this is ridiculously easy. Run through here, jump down here, run along the side here, down in the hole. Recloak because my timer isn't quite full yet. And then just hack the thing and you're done in, what, half a minute? Nice and easy, very, very easy on a stealth frame. Alright, so here we are now on a non-stealth frame, we're on Nyx. Remember, no, pow no powers and no killing. So the left-hand side is blocked off, which is fine. It means we can show this with um, a non-stealth frame. It's basically pretty much just taking it slow, taking it stealthy. Drop down to the thing here. You can have a ver wide variety of units that are going to patrol up there. Uh, it could be a heavy gunner, it could be a scorch, it could be a whole bunch of things. Stand just about here, and then you can, as you angle your camera, you can actually see up the top there. I always move close, um, just when this uh, this unit walks past. Whoops. Be very careful you don't do that. Jump through the door. Now there's going to be a unit. He's either going to be at the top here, walking down, or at the bottom, walking up. That's pretty much always going to happen. Let's duck in here, because then we can avoid this camera that's looking. There's also a sensor regulator Eximus up there, so just be very careful of that. Go for it. Be careful of this unit. Don't run into him. He's going to go to the left now. When he moves, he'll go left. Then we're just going to run through. Dive down into the hole. You've got to be very careful of those other cameras up there because they can spot you. But now we're in the vault. We're going to do this sort of same thing again. We're just going to stay down low and angle our camera so we can see the unit up the top there like this heavy gunner. As soon as this heavy gunner turns around, you can actually go for it. So, like, now, you can be sneaky and be like, Hi, I'm going to steal your stuff. And then watch them walk by as you hack. There you go, job done. And so, we're here this time around. We're still on Nyx. However, the left side is open. So, we're going to head through into here. Drop down. Drop down. Jump across onto here. Through this little pipeline here. We're going to get to here. Don't worry about these lasers or down here. Um, it doesn't matter whether you avoid dash across or anything. You're going to set them off. So just don't do that. So jump up. Oh, it can be a bit tricky. Jump, Bullet jump up through here. And then dive down in here. It's uh, a pretty a pretty simple route into the vault again. And we just got to wait for the heavy gunner to disappear. I'll do that route again um, in a second. It was a, I went through it a little quickly. Do the hack. Just so we don't fail the vault. There we go, we got it. A clean extraction with no alarms. So we're going to go back up. Turn around. So once again, up into this little hole to the left here. Jump down. Jump down here. Jump across onto this platform. Turn right and down the, the uh, passageway here. Once we're here, look up, up here. Crouch, jump, and go up. As you can see, we're in the vault now. There's an enemy there who has seen us this time. Ow. Um, so yeah, you, you've, you don't really have to worry about that because of the way the timings work. You, you're not ever going to run into that guy. So as you can see, um, let's go back down here again. So, bullet jump up here, and then you end up in the sort of middle. Be careful you don't end up there. That's the first time I've ever done that. But yeah, and then you can just sort of dive down to the left here. 
like being spotted or anything like that isn't isn't ever really going to happen because um, because of the way the timings work. So if you do it as quickly as you can, the timings mean you're never really going to get spotted. It's just if you slow it down like I did there, then uh, it messes with all the timings. Okay, we're at the second of the two, uh, second of the three volts even. This actually is uh, just as easy on a stealth frame as it is on a non-stealth frame as it is on a stealth frame. This is the quickest way of doing it. So drop down here, shoot this panel, jump back over here, into this vent, go around the corner, shoot this panel here, around the corner once again. So we've done a little loop. This is a tricky jump here, so you've got to be able to sort of get onto this thing here from there. Shoot this panel. And then up we go. Bullet jump straight up. Into here. And then we hack B. Really, really easy. Again, vault, entire vault done in about 40 seconds. So, very, very, very easy. And like I say, um, now I'm going to show you on the non-stealth frame. And it is exactly the same route. So, Okay, so like I said on uh, Loki, this is actually pretty much just as easy on a non-stealth frame as it is on a stealth frame. So we're just going to sprint in, go to the left. Gonna drop down onto the thing here. Might have to do a little jump. Destroy that thing. Over to the left here. This jump can be a little tricky, so you might have to do a bit of wall running. There we go. Destroy that. Round to the left again. Oh. There we go. I'm just gonna grab the Soma cord while I'm here. Multitasking for the win. This jump is very, very tricky, so hopefully we'll nail it. There we go. Right, so you've got to be very careful of this um, camera here. I don't know what this... Yeah, there we go. It just panned to the right there. I'm going to wait for it to pan back around again. This like Normally, if you don't stop for the Soma cord, you're fine. But now we can just bullet jump up. When it's panned back around towards you and you can't see the, the, the beam anymore, it means that you're safe to jump. If you're using a loud weapon, unlike the Barza, um, occasionally there's a unit. I mean, there is always a unit and he's going to be around there sometimes. Wherever. I don't know where he's gone at the moment. Oh, he's up there now. He patrols around a little bit, so you've just got to be careful that... Um, like, when you jump up, uh, depending on their position, they might um, they might see you. It's a very, very, it's a little bit of RNG involved there, but uh, it's not so bad. You're not going to fail very often with that. And here we are at the final of the three. There's only three on the Kuva Fortress, and they're always, um, they're always going to be the same ones. Just going to cloak up, head down to the left here, follow the pipe, just go to the right, where he is right now, just keep on running down, keep on running through, jump up here, and there you are at the thing. It's exactly the same route on a non-stealth frame as well, as I'll uh, show you in a, in a minute or so. Well, not even going to be that. It's going to be about 20 seconds, probably. Uh, exactly the same route on a non-stealth frame, although you can't just run through it like you can with Loki. Um, I'll just redo that route quickly. So it's down to the left here. There's always going to be a guard patrolling here, so be careful of that. Just run down here. To the right here. Straight ahead. Carry on going straight. And then to the right here. And then you're back in the vault. Okay, our third and final vault once again on a non-stealth frame. Just going to sprint in. Like, cause the, because of the pattern, I can always sprint in here. And then we're just going to take it slow behind this sensor regu uh, regulator Eximus. Where he is now, he's going to go down to the left down there. So we can just go straight forward. And wait for this one. So we're just going to sit here where we can angle our camera and watch the regulator. Can actually go up like one more bit in the rock, but it's uh, it's not really worth the risk. There we go. Now it's gone. We're gonna sit on this rock here and just wait for it to disappear. If you're really quick at hacking or using ciphers, you could have gone there, but it's not really worth the risk if you're not. Um, I don't really use ciphers um, because you know in raids and stuff um, you can't use them. So I like to try and keep my hacking skills good. So once it's moved. Just go in behind it, shoot this out, and then hack the console, and then we're in the vault. Nice and easy, job done. About a minute. There we go. 
And that is all of the vault stealth. So I hope you enjoyed my look at the Cooper Fortress spy vault. It was quite fun to go back and learn these vaults. I even did it on stream, which was really amusing. It was a lot of fun to mess around with random stealth songs from movies like Pink Panther and Mission Impossible, James Bond. I'm going to learn it whilst just interacting with all of you in the chat. I've got the Earth ones to do in the future, and it's definitely not going to be as long between now and that video as it's been since the last I Spy. However, more Warframe content to come very soon. But for now, many thanks for watching, and I shall see you in the next video.